I love the flow of this water after it rained all night. How beautiful is that? What's up FOA squad? I'm Anthony and welcome to our channel Life with Anthony. I hope everyone is doing well out there. It is Wednesday morning about 7 30 a.m. I am off on my first walk of the day. Actually that's something I want to tell you guys. I decided to walk once a day and but I changed my route of walking. I walked the campground twice so that I can get around nine to ten thousand steps i found that in the evening i'm not as motivated to get up and walk again especially after i had walked the extended routes in the morning so what i decided to do because i'm most motivated in the morning and i just woke up and i have the most energy in the mornings is to go all out in the mornings and get it over with and then throughout the day I will be pitter pattering around the, the campground and adding more steps onto my original walk during the morning. So I end up with around somewhere around 11,000 steps uh, at the end of the day. Now I didn't walk yesterday because I had such a busy day and when I got finished doing all that, it was also a wet day. So I didn't walk yesterday, but today I'm up. I'm motivated to get these nine to 10,000 steps in for today. I told myself during these walks that it's okay to stop and take a breather, especially after coming up all these hills and especially after the second time. You know, it's okay to stop for a few minutes, take a breath, take a breather and then continue. When I first started, you know, it was like, go, 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 and get the laps done, and I mean, get the steps done, and keep it moving. But now that I switched up and doing more at one time, I'm like, you know what, Anthony? It's okay to stop and take a breather. And so that's what I'm doing. My dentist appointment yesterday went really, really well. I met this new dentist for the first time as well as his dental assistant who was so nice <laughs> so nice and so informative i had like what i consider a ton of questions for them and the biggest one was you know are they going to fit in my mouth without adhesive and the receptionist woman she told me that you know they do a really good job with the fit and doing the impressions and everything so she couldn't 100% guarantee me that they were staying without the uh, adhesive, but she did say that they do a really good job with the fit. That, that, that was David that went by, that they do a really good job with the fit. So I feel a lot confident now that they're going to fit really well. And I bought a different con, a different type of dentures this time. I bought the flex ones and 
it looks as though they're going to have the hook that is going to go in between my other teeth to help keep them in place based on the way that it looked. Now that came in a metal version as well, but I didn't want the metal version because I felt like when I had the one tooth, the flipper tooth, that had the metal on each side and I didn't like that. It just felt so uncomfortable. So this one is a much softer material. It's hard, but it's not like the acrylic hard. It's probably still acrylic, but it's a softer acrylic, if that makes any sense. And so I like the way they look and I'm excited. I have my next dental appointment is September the 6th and hopefully they will fit the first time and then they can send those back and get my permanent ones done. So hopefully I don't have to send them back for any adjustments and that would be great because if I have to send them back for adjustments, that's just gonna push my California road trip even further to the point where it may not ha happen in October because of the November Japan trip. But this is how I walk now in the mornings. I wear my regular baseball cap and then I got my fly hat in the back of me because it's not like flies and gnats everywhere. And I told you guys that thing is kind of warm on my head. So I put it on as needed. But anywho, onward, continue this walk. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back from my walk. I'm sitting up here debating or standing up here debating if I want to fix some breakfast or not. I'm a little winded now. <laughs> but let's see what I did. Okay. 10,512. Felt like I did more than that. Cause I was going places that I normally don't go. But anywho, that's really good. And like I said, when I start pitter pattering around this campsite. So Dollar General, or well, Dollar General, Do <coughs> excuse me, Dollar Tree gives paper bags out now. I didn't see any plastic bags. I like the plastic bags because I can reuse them as trash bags and hang them on my little towel, my towel rack or whatever. But they gave you, gave me a paper bag. I don't like paper bags. I like bags with a handle on it. What if I had four bags? How are you gonna carry four bags with no handle on them? Don't like that. But I bought some more cloths Cause I only had two of them and I have one on the table that I've wrapped my um, cutleries in. But I bought this cutlery tray here and this is gonna go right in there. Let me see if I can show you guys. Maybe not, cause it's not gonna stand still. So maybe not. But right here is where I have my induction cooktop, which I haven't even used since I've been here at this campground. So I'm going to put this cutlery tray right in there. Aha. I'm wondering if two of them can fit there. Hmm. I don't know. Two, two of them might can fit there. I don't know if I need two of them now. All right, here's all the things that I...
this not this not big enough. I need another long side. Then a spaghetti one. All right. I just sat them in there like that. Hopefully they're not up too high. And some of them are. I'm thinking I can get me another one in there. Anyway, let me get to cooking some breakfast. All right, guys, I'm gonna make some bacon and some hotcakes. Love, love, love this. I love this. It's so easy. I usually can get about three breakfasts out of it. Love it, love it. You have to be careful of how much water you put in here at one time. Because you don't want to make it too thin. Unless you like your hotcakes like that. So I do a little at a time. Look at that good day smelling bacon. That's some good day smelling bacon there. And most of the time it's gonna still be some clunks at the bottom. So I like to take my spoon and make sure I get all the clunks out of the bottom. Check the consistency of it.
Let's give it another little shake a shake. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey. Oh, that there is some good consistency there. That's some good consistency. I know you can't see and I don't want to dump it out, but that's some good, that's some good there consistency. All right. The sound of my bacon started going down as if the butane is running out. I'm gonna check the butane because I think the butane is running low. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. And trash you go. I think I'm a I'm thinking about keeping I'm thinking about keeping my um double burner. Because with the butane, and I'm thinking about continuing to use butane because the stove that I bought with the kit is propane. And I'm, I'm really having second thoughts about using propane. Yeah, I'm really having second thoughts about using uh, propane. And I, I, I really like the butane cans. They're so much easier. And look at here. Look at this setup here. I have a two burner cooktop here. Then I have my single cooktop here. So actually I can have three things going on at once. Bam. Bam. You know, if I want to bake something, I can put my oven on top of this small one right here and get this. I can still fix two things right here. All about options. I say that a lot. I'm all about options. I know y'all can hear that. Now, see that bacon, it picked back up. I hear the sizzling going. That's how I always know when that butane is running out because it's like the sound changes. Now when I'm cooking bacon on this flat top here, because it's not like completely leveled, the grease tend to go over in one corner. I like to take a paper towel and kind of drain some of the, the uh, grease off of it. Now, one reason why I like to do that is because when I clean, oh, this is burned up. All righty. Extra crispy. One reason why I like to do that is because, get this a little shake, is because <clears throat> I don't want all that grease going into the water when I uh, clean it. Know what I mean? 
Cause that's just gonna, I mean, I know it's dishwash water, but that helps keep the water from looking, you know what I mean. I only fix one big pancake. One big one, because that's enough. I don't like to overeat in the mornings, especially after I did that really nice 10,000 step walk. I don't want to feel after I did that. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator in the fridge. All right. I don't have anything. I ate all the blueberries because I started munching on them as a snack. I like a golden brown hot cake. I don't like a burnt hot cake. So let me pay attention. Uh-oh. Turn this down, Sam. Okay. Let's put some butter on that bad boy while it's hot. There you go. There you guys go. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go to the table and eat. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water today. All righty. This hot cake. Oh, Anthony, to left it alone.
this hot cake is a little thicker than what I like them. Is it a difference between a hot cake and a pancake? Could a hot cake be thinner and a pancake is considered thicker? I don't know, it just came to mind. Or it's just that in different parts, people call it hot cakes and some people call it pancakes. Cause sometimes I call it a hot cake and sometimes I call it a, a pancake. Know what else I learned when I went to the dentist um, yesterday? I learned that I don't have to pay the full cost of the new dentures. I told them that I got my permanent dentures from uh, affordable dentures and implants, but the uh, office in Baltimore. And so they was like, okay. And so she said, okay, well then we'll do a transfer. She said, the way that affordable dentures and implants work, if you buy your, your uh, temporary teeth from one location and then you get your permanent from another location, we do a transfer and I only have to pay the difference because uh, I got the economy ones for the permanent ones and I'm getting the higher quality ones so to speak for the uh no did i say that right no for the temporary ones i got the economy um dentures but the permanent ones i'm getting a, a higher you know quality one so i just have to pay the difference of the higher quality one and the the uh economy one i was so glad when she said that Because I had in my mind that I'll be paying at least $2,500. But now, it probably would be around maybe no more than $1,000 now. Because I paid... I paid $3,100 for the temporary ones. But that also included the cost of the seven teeth that I got extracted, uh, ex mm, abstracted from my mouth. So, that's pretty good. I love bacon. This bacon here is a little bit too crispy for my taste, though. I like it crispy, but not, not to the point it's a hard crispy. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. I bought some clothes pegs some wooden clothes pads. I have them in the car. And what I'm gonna do with them is, I'm gonna put them all along here. Just a couple of them, just a few of them. To hold, hold the shower curtain in place around the poles of the canopy. So when the wind blows, it won't blow the shower curtain out. This side is fine because I got double 
shower curtain and I got rocks at the bottom of it to hold it in place. This side right here, I have the shorter uh, shower curtain. I do have longer ones up in the storage. So the next campground I go to is set this all up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, all, of, all around are gonna be the longer ones. <clears throat> and I'm gonna attach them together on the corners so that again if the wind blows it would it would help keep it in place now i should be working on these hot cakes because the syrup is all soaked in them But anywho, I'm gonna finish this breakfast up. I don't think I'm gonna shower today. I'm, I don't have nothing planned. I'm doing nothing. So I don't know if I'm gonna shower today. I showered yesterday before I did all that running around. Eh, we'll see. Today I'm just gonna either sit out here or in my van and watch some tennis. I don't know if I told you guys, I bought the um, tennis package. So I can sit here, sit here and watch some tennis. Cause all last year I missed just about the whole year of tennis. And then my sister told me to, to purchase the tennis channel. So I did that. So now I get to sit and watch some tennis. My sister is a big tennis fan as well. She went down to the tournament in Washington DC and watched them. And she got a picture with Gail Monfils if you are a tennis player, you know who Gail Marfis is. And she said she got to watch um, Slo Sloan Stevens play. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with some of the U.S. tournaments. Originally, I was going to try to make it to the big Australia tournament that happens in uh, the Australian Open, the Grand Slam in um, Australia. But I think I'm going to start off with some because they have... They have several tournaments in the United States. They have the U.S. Open, they have Cincinnati, they have Washington, D.C. Um, what else is in the um, states? They used to have New York, but I think they moved that to Dallas. So next year, I'm gonna go to the DC one. Right now they're playing in, um, they just finished their Canada tournament, which is a 1000 event, if you know anything about tennis. And I think they're in Cincinnati now. Or the reverse. They were in Cincinnati, then went to Canada. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna finish this little bit left. One more to go. Okay. I think for dinner, 
I'm going to make some shrimp Alfredo. I have some shrimp in the um, fridge. I have some Alfredo sauce. Um, I have some fettuccine noodles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fix that for um, for dinner today. Don't know if I'll film it or not. Maybe I'll film it and just to have it as my next video, but we'll see. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy spending the morning with me and also showing you guys how my Tuesday went. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that. And I'm so, so super excited to get these done. Super excited. And hopefully everything will fall in line where I can keep the California road trip as planned um, but just start at a much later date but I'm, I'm so excited I told Michael that I'm really excited to take that route 66 to from Chicago to uh, Santa Monica California I'm excited so cross your fingers that the whole dental thing works out where October will be the month that the California trip will take place then I'll come back from that and maybe have uh, a week or even, you know, three or four days before I have to take off to uh, Japan. So cross your fingers that everything works according to plan so that I can keep the plan in order. All right, guys. See you the next time.